Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of The Intern. I have to tell you, I was pretty excited to see The Intern. But while I was excited, I was also pretty nervous heading into the film because this easily could have been a Hallmark, made-for-TV, lifetime original kind of movie. And thankfully, it does avoid falling into that pitfall. But I did have a couple of big issues with the film. But first, let's talk about the many reasons that I enjoyed The Intern. First and foremost, our two leads were really, really good. Anne Hathaway comes off extremely relatable, really likable. I thought she played Jules very well. She gave her a lot of depth, I think, at the beginning of the film. It was a little hokey, but I'm not going to totally blame that on her. We'll get into what was wrong with the beginning a little bit later. But I thought, overall, she just did a very good job. But it was Robert De Niro that really stole the show. This easily comes off as a paycheck gig. He looks like he should be phoning it in, that he's just here to fill an old man void. But he's not phoning it in. He gives so much warmth and so much emotion into this film. I loved Robert De Niro in this movie. He's not playing a tough guy. He's not playing any of the things that we're used to seeing Robert De Niro typecast in. And it's just wonderful to have warmth from him, to see him embrace this older aged character, and to embrace his role as a mentor and a father figure to the rest of the cast. And by the end, you feel like he's your best friend as well, and someone that you can lean on and confide in. And overall, the film is just successful in reaching its end goal. And that's to just give you a good, feel good, movie. Like I said last week, Everest is not that. So maybe go see Everest and IMAX first and then segue your way into The Intern to help lift you back up before you leave the movie theater because this is a very strong feel-good movie. You leave feeling warm and fuzzy and that's just always an enjoyable film experience. But beyond that, I think the film does have many, many flaws. The biggest of which is the directing. We are given really awkward cutaway shots to nonsensical scenes. Either scenes that should have been deleted or should have been a reaction shot that lasted all of two seconds but for some unexplained reason was dragged out to five or ten seconds. And it just made some of the pacing really, really strange. And then it also gave the film a very amateurish pace to it. and. That really did a disservice to our cast members, especially at the beginning. There are so many things that should have been cut out, so many things that just simply didn't seem to ever have a purpose. And it makes you wonder, why was this left here? Why was this whole concept not left on the cutting room floor? One big example to me was the jewels on a bicycle through the office thing. It only comes out at the very beginning of the movie. Like that's the only time we see her like riding her bike through the office. It serves literally no purpose. It just adds another, I guess, neurotic characteristic to Anne Hathaway's character. And then it's just dropped. It's never visited again. It serves literally no purpose. And that's the thing here is we're given so many different B storylines that a lot of them never wrap up. A lot of them aren't able to have the attention they deserve. We have Robert De Niro and a sort of love triangle going on, maybe? We have Anne Hathaway, like I said, with her very neurotic personality. We have Anne Hathaway as a mother. We have Anne Hathaway's uh, marriage. We have Anne Hathaway's relationship to her mother and her parents. We have Anne Hathaway's relationship to her employees. And then we have the overlying subtext of, do we need a CEO for this company? That's a lot. <laughs> Plus, Robert De Niro is supposed to fit in here somewhere, obviously with the A subtext of Robert De Niro and Anne Hathaway's relationship together. 
But then we have Robert De Niro kind of interacting with all these side characters as well. So as you can see, it's just so convoluted. And most of those B storylines I gave you were not wrapped up at all. And if they were wrapped up, it was just hastily. And unfortunately, the entire film is given the wrap it up in a bow, send it on its way treatment. Ending was nice. It was pleasant. It does leave you smiling. But it is very much a pretty bow on the top of the box. And I think the film just could have been so much more than that product. We could have had so much more interesting things happened with <laughs> these older people coming in and being interns in a company. I think the beginning relies way too much on, you know, corny, played out age jokes. I mean, about old people with technology, old people saying crazy things, old people not knowing young people's language. They're all played out, nothing original there. I do like that we're given love interests here and we explore that bit. I like that we explore, you know, sexism in the workplace and women coming to power and, you know, the new roles in the family and how that still is a problem and needs to be bucked. But we just don't go into any of those deeper issues Everything is pushed to the back burner just so that we can end up with a feel-good story. So overall, I would say that The Intern deserves a good matinee and doesn't need to be seen at full price for sure. And really, I would say a rental, but and normally I would probably even maybe give this a rental, but I left the theater smiling. I left the theater feeling good. And the performances elevate this above just your normal lifetime or straight to DVD. Uh, release. So for that reason, I say it's worth your time and worth the money to go see on a Saturday matinee. So that has been my review of The Intern. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see The Intern? And what is your favorite Robert De Niro performance? Let me know either in the comment section down below or hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah! Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!